Hey everyone, Brandon here with SlingMods.com and today we have the MadStat adjustable windshield for the Can-Am Riker and Riker Rally. Windshields have become a popular upgrade for Riker owners and they come in a variety of sizes and tint levels, making these MadStat shields our number one selling adjustable shield to date. Constructed from a 3 16 cast acrylic, these shields come in a variety of tint options and heights, with tint levels ranging from clear to light gray, medium gray, and dark gray, and then sizes ranging from 18 inches to 20 inches, 22 inches, and 24 inches tall. Now the reason these mad stat shields are so popular is because the windshields are completely adjustable, allowing you to control the height 3 inches up and down, and the pitch 15 degrees forward to back, giving you the ability to fine tune the airflow depending on weather and wind conditions, creating a smooth and comfortable ride. To install, start by attaching the aluminum wedges to the front of your instrument cluster by using the pre-assembled spools and leaving them finger tight for now. Now slide the adjustable brackets onto the quick release posts, making sure that the locking plate is rotated all the way down towards the front of the bike. Once both brackets are all the way on and fully seated, rotate the locking plates back up so that the hole fits over and onto the bottom posts. Now you can take a 4mm Allen wrench and go back through and tighten those post screws down nice and snug, making sure not to over tighten. Next add black plastic washers to the Phillips head screws. And slide them into the windshield, adding a rubber washer to the back side of all four holes. Now take your windshield and line up the screws with the mounting holes on your brackets and screw them in so that about a quarter inch of the screw tip is sticking out the back side of the well nut. Then slowly and carefully turn your bars from left to right, making sure you have adequate clearance and that the windshield doesn't hit any of the body panels. Once the windshield is installed, you can remove it along with both brackets as one unit and reinstall it the same way by simply lifting and rotating both locking keys down and all the way forward. Then grab the shield by the bottom or sides and wiggle the brackets up and slightly forward off their posts. Installing them back onto the post will take a little extra care to align the bracket slots with the post and a little extra wiggling to make sure they are fully seated. Then rotate the locking keys back and up into position. And then to access your club box, simply loosen the knobs one full turn and slide the windshield up. Alright, so we set up a camera at my eye level to show you approximately where these windshields line up with your field of view. We start at the 18 inch at its lowest position all the way up to the 24 inch in its highest position. Now keep in mind, I'm six feet tall, so your results may vary.
So if having an adjustable windshield for your Can-Am Riker is on your mod list, then be sure to head on over to SlingMods.com today and grab one for yourself. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so I can keep you up to date on everything Riker. I'm Brandon, signing out. Until next time.